Hi, I'm Phil Liggett and welcome to the ride. Hi, Tim here from the ride and I'm here with the voice of cycling forever, Phil Liggett. I love you. Great, <laughs> great to meet you. So Phil, you're commentating on the race tomorrow. Yep. Uh, is there any, would you approach this any differently to any other race that you do? That's a very good question. Um, this is quite different because here we are sort of not on the top of Alpe d'Huez. With the weather you think we were right now because those clouds are looking ominous up there. But the organisers, comparatively new to the sport, only two years in this race, yeah. but they've got the roads closed by New South Wales, which I tell you, I think it's pretty much unprecedented. And they've done a fantastic job. Tour de France people are here. You know, I feel as though I'm probably on the tour, and if I was, it'd be my 46th. And um, they've given me the job of commentating on the finishing line of the race, because there's the ride as well, and Matt Keen is going to the ride. Now, Matt has drawn the short straw at the moment, but if it rains, I've drawn the short straw. Because if I go to Perisher to do the race finish as I am, then they're expecting 120 mil of rain. So I might want to do work, go down and see Matt. Do they look after you? They put you in a flies. nice box? Yeah, there's, there's flies. I don't know why everywhere. I come back to this country with these flies. Well, it's just the Aussie way, isn't it? It is. We don't have any of those in New Zealand, which you've been Correct. to New Zealand before? I have. I had a great time there about uh, 18 months ago with Greg Lamond. We were guests. We, we stayed at the Sky Casino in Auckland, and they looked after us very well. With John McKenzie, we put on, we did a dinner, and we went through the life story of Greg Lamond on stage. You can talk, Greg, and we had a great time. We really did. We also went fishing, which was the real reason Greg went to New Zealand. He loves fishing. And so compared to uh, Greg, how are you at fishing? Can you beat him at...? Well, I caught more than him, but he caught the biggest. So I guess he won. Ah, oh, always the winner in the end. <laughs> um, so animal conservation is a, is a huge thing for you. I'm a patron of BirdLife South Africa, which is where I spend a lot of my time, and uh, I raise money for them. And the other passion is, of course, saving the rhinoceros because they're killing them like they're going out of, out of, into extinction in the wild. There's only a few thousand left now, down to about two or three thousand. Chris Froome thinks like me because he was brought up in Kenya and in South Africa. He has a rhino on his bike. You may have seen it when he races in the Tour de France. He has a rhino on his bike, on the headset. And uh, here, I'm probably the only journalist talking to him about saving the rhino and not talking about winning the Tour de France or, as we now know, also the Tour of Italy. And so we've got a meeting later on to talk about rhinos. And, and I think Chris likes to talk occasionally about other things than bicycle riding. I can well imagine he does. I'm sure he gets bombarded with cycling questions. <laughs> but as, as do you, I can, I'm I just quite sure. I do, but you know, I love it because but here, I get mobbed here in Australia. And the people come up and say, do you remember me? I go, no. I spoke to you in 1990 in Kudji. It was 2017 now. I said, oh, I think your face looks familiar. I had a few of those this week. <laughs> you, you, you seem like such a modest chap. Is it, um, is it kind of strange being mobbed by all these people? I love it, and I only a fool would say he didn't. Uh, if they throw tomatoes, that's a different <laughs> kettle of fish. But, Have um, you had no, that? Uh, no, no okay. fortunately no. Um, but you can't be rude to these people because that's why I do the job. If they didn't like me, then what would be the point of doing the job? So I, I love meeting them. Everyone has a story. Um, but I'm only a simple commentator in cycling, a sport that's not known around the world. When I started, yet for some reason people like me. And I, I like that fact. But I just converted my hobby into my life. I was looking. The Shimano Experience Project. I am hellishly tired. 